Nonjere was a Muslim at the Manuach. I am the name of our Lord Jesus. Nonjere Quachira Bashitzi. And I will come the visitors. Turachira Abatuza Mosuria Mino. We welcome those who are online following us. Harabai Murai. Those who are in Europe. Harabai Mura Africa. In Africa. Harabai Mura Asia. Asia. Nokuda Mura Isia Mudugutu. You know the world is now a city, small town now. Yes, the Rotor of Achira Mizra Jayasu. We welcome you all in the name of Jesus. So that we can be together now. Kumva Echima Nibushaka. What we hear to the word of God. Kumiki Ushaka Kumana. And to know what uh, we want from God. Let's be to God. As they said, the name is Manwa Trezor. They never mentioned me. I mentioned myself. And I think that's all. So what we're going to talk about today? The um, word time. Uh, so we shall say, knowing the time. In our memory verse. Where we read it in Matthew 24, verse 40, 43 to 44. But know this that if the good man of the house had known in what word the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. When you see these words, these words were mentioned by Jesus, and he said these words when he was still here on earth. He was still with his disciples. Now, in, in general, you know, we, don't, we are not born from the same parent. Some people are from deep villages. And some people are from villages but a little bit advanced. And there are some people from the palaces. Because I remember there is a family where I live. The, the child used to ask for two things. My father, I want us to go and show me the sheep and show me coffee. Those two things. So this kid was from a very big town, who lived in a good home. The car gets him from home to school. And when they talk about coffee, he doesn't know what it is. And he hears uh, coffee, he brings money. What do I, why do I say this? Those who were born from deep villages, even now you can ask me, just because, depending on the time now, and I tell you, this is the season to harvest, or maybe they are planting, or maybe this is a rainy season, that matches with that person who is born from the town when you ask 
asked him about time now. And he says, This is a time when food is expensive in town. This is a time when the workers can get a job. Depending on your category or your level. So we are talking about knowing the time. No, I never had And then, in America, where we are now. If you ask an, a, a farmer here in this country and ask him what is the time now, how is the time now? He, he will tell you, this snow now, it is going to go beyond, it's quite abnormal. There is no much rain, there will be too much snow on the day. But there will be too much storm. And then I also ask, why can someone know the time when the thief will come so that that person can protect and keep uh, safe his home? And uh, here we see. The reason why he doesn't know the day when the thief will come is because he doesn't know the riches he has in the house. So that he can sleep while not sleeping. Because he's supposed to be thinking that all any time my riches can be taken away from me. And now what plan do I have to protect my uh, my riches? So Jesus told this to his disciples and after they had asked him many questions. But Lord, so, when will be the coming of the Son of God? How shall we tell that He is coming? So, he show us the signs. How will it be? Can you explain to us, please? When you see carefully, verse 42, he said, what do you have for you know not that what hour the Lord does come. You know here they wanted to know the real time, the day, when he will come. And they asked for signs. Time came and he told them the signs. Yes, it came and he told them. But we have the problem of not knowing how to count our time. We don't know how to count time so that we can follow his instructions. Paul lived after Jesus. But then, Paul also said it in, in, in a certain way. In Romans chapter 13, verse 11 and 12, Paul said these words to Romans. You know, he cared for them so much. Because when you see even the history of the world, so I can say they had some special moments. It wasn't new. Just the reason we don't know how to count to, to tell. So that we can tell when we see the signs in the sky. Paul told the Romans, you know, he, told, he gave them a lot of warnings. Different. Chapter 13, verse 11 12. He told them these words. To be watchful. Do not be 
kiza kwacu kwakwegereye kuri gihe twizereye ijoro irakuze urenda gucya nuko twiga muri mirimo y'umwijima twambare kwaho z'umuco imana itugiriye neza so we ready and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed the night is far spent the day is at hand let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light I think these words are clear, right? If we understand clearly the head of the today, to know the time, how do you see rain coming? How do I see rain coming? And then it uh, beats me, makes me wait after all the warnings I saw. How do I think really? Do you think what Jesus said what can we see now? So Paul says please the night is the first pain the night is the first pain so we should be ready for uh, welcoming our Lord taking off all the works of the darkness and we should put on the armor of light take off the works of the darkness and put on the weapons the things that we can use for fighting things of the light because he understood clearly the kind of the battle in which he was. And he knew well that the time would come. And he was still be fighting. No, no. So, he was going to be fighting. Why don't we know the time? Why don't we know the time? Why don't we know the time? Hano, Matarinawe, in Matthew, in 24 he continued to talk, to talk about it. In 24, in 24, he said these strong words. Verse 3, 24, verse 3. Up to verse 13. I'll be quick. I just beg you for your ears. Yes. Chapter 24, verse 3 to 13. shall receive many as you 
shall hear of wars and rumors about wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For, na for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes and diverse place in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall men be offered and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall, shall arise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end shall be saved. Amen. May the Lord help us. Why can't we tell what time is? Why don't we know how to tell about the time? In the song of 171 in Rwanda, this kind of two people were talking together. And the other was like the watchman at Zion. Wherefore is the night now? It looks like the one who asked did mind about it. He is the one who was supposed to take care of the time. He was asking how, how far is time But he wouldn't have asked. The watchman of Zion, how far is time? Is it almost morning? The other one answered like, Don't ask, just be watchful, look in the, in the east. You ask yourself, How do you ask someone that what time is it now? And then he says, Don't ask me, just look at the sun. That means, it is my responsibility to know what time it is. It is your responsibility to know what time it is. As Jesus said, even the one who will be in the, in the field should not go back home. You know, we like talking. We, talk, we like talking. Then you go home and tell people, He's coming. Yeah, he will remain there. Because where he finds you, where he finds you, it's that place. Even if you are in the field, you must know what time it is. When you are driving, you must know what time it is. the devil pass we fall, you can protect your house. That's how the Son of God will come. We have to be ready all the time. So, what Jesus was saying here at Mount of Olives, there's nothing new in it. Because we have seen everything, right? Nation against nation. When they talk of nations, we have had wars every day, right? Even they are here because of wars. Yeah. Right? And these kids who are not here they don't know what we are talking about. But children, you, know, you have to know about time. You, you have to be with your parents and tell you what happened. Why are we here? Ask them. They will tell you about Matthew 24. And they will give it to you to read. Then you say, hey, they said the nation against the nation. So what is the nation? And then we tell you it is about the country. Where you invaded and they fought for you. Because of those signs. That's why Jesus 
nation against nation, the kingdom against the kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes. Don't you think if you have people who are hungry in the world outside there? If you read the news, all things that are happening, Egyptian Many countries now, children are malnourished. Even here in America, some people who are malnourished, they don't have enough food, good food. People are hungry. Uh, yesterday I was seeing how the uh, United States of America has taken a lot of food and medication going to help in Venezuela because they are falling sick, they are hungry now think about this Venezuela Venezuela refused that they did not want that food. What does it show? That's when he says, That's when many people will hate each other. Is it not so for? I bring my stuff to help you. I want to help your children. And now you show me you don't take mine, you don't need it. Yet people from your house are crying, they are suffering. The earthquakes, we have seen it every day. We have seen it every day. Every time we hear of the storm and tornadoes and in your house, all these, but all these, this is a long time to know will be the beginning of the um, sorrows. Why don't we know how to tell? When he talk about, about the beginning of sorrows, you know, women know it better when they are about to have kids with labor pains, you know. Even men know it. You, when a woman has re started getting labor pains, those are signs. When she gets a little pain, and she gets these signs, and the man will not say, my, my wife is, has uh, produced a child. But he said, there are some signs that we're going to have a baby. So, they are still We are still waiting. In the wedding, some preparations made. You have to be ready to assemble. So that even when there are some bad things that come out of the process, you have to have been ready. So he says, but all that, that is the beginning of labor pains. It is not labor. It is the beginning of labor pains. So there is no labor pains yet. So all this we have seen here. That's when they will destroy each other so that you can be killed. They will kill you. I remember in one country where I was. There was this emotional boy. And he was like, I can suffer for Jesus. I said, hey, cool down. If you are the man, what you will not be. You will say, I wish I died tomorrow. When they brought two sons, two boys, from Zebedee, they said, one should sit on your right, another one on your left. Yes, you are a Muslim. Yes, you are a Muslim. If they accepted to take of the cup, 
I'm going to take. It is easy when we are happy. You may just ask it, what time is it now? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it will be tomorrow. Now please we have to know what time it is. We have to know what time it is. We have to know what time it is. So what is remaining? That's when many believers will backslide. And shall kill you and you shall be hated and nations for my name's sake. I think everybody here knows how you live in a society. There are some people who fail to get a job because they are believers, they believe in God. There are some places where you go to ask for a job and you say you are a Christian. No, give us peace. Go but that is a testimony you have to get. So, and then shall many be offended and shall be, shall betray one another and shall hate one another. How many does the cool you go? When I get to this verse, verse again, I had a big problem here. We have seen a lot of things in our life. We pass through many difficult things. And we have seen people betraying others. Someone says, I love you, things are okay. And he's pulling you towards the pit. He's taking you in a danger. Do you think you will understand it? When you see what happened to you, moreover, it was done to you by your best friend. Do you think he will continue to say he's a Christian and you follow him? You say it. Do you think you will believe in him? No, that person who has been mistreated will backslide. Uh, many false prophets will come and take people away. Have you not seen that? Don't you see those happen? And there are prophets who know even how to rise the dead. I don't know if it's his real the dead person who comes up. But they say they do it. They say if we are poor, come, we shall give you riches. If you are barren, let's give you uh, to be ha to have children. And because iniquity shall abound, because iniquity shall abound, the love of men shall wax cold. And today, love is just on the mouth. Just on the tongue, I love you, I love you, I love you. But what is the real meaning of love? Love is actions, it is not just mere saying. It. If you have love, you have to give. Even the singer said, I love you, Lord. Do you know I love you? Even my actions shall show it. My, my actions will show it to you. So what kind of actions do you have? What kind of good deeds do you have? So do you know the time in which we are now? Do you know where we are now? If you ask me where we are now, and if someone asks you where we are now, Regarding the coming of Jesus, what can I say? And what can you say? So Paul said something to Timothy. Second Timothy, verse chapter 3. 
Can you give me someone give me one thousand dollars? Yeah, you don't need some Just give it to me. Like one hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah, it means it. Okay, let it to me. Because when I ask you to read it to me, you ask me a lot of questions. So you want me to borrow the money, you bring it back. Bring it back. So there is a conditions and conditions. People will love themselves. Loving money. And when we look at the time of Moses, they shared all they had. Nobody had his own stuff. There is no saying this is mine. There was nobody saying I'm a bad So he was minding about the whole community. People will be proud. Do we see proud people today? Are they there? Yes, everywhere they are. Me, I can do this. Me, I can do this. Me, I can do this. That is mere boasting. For us, we have accepted Jesus a long time ago. We pray, we see, we give all our we give all things. But when you see the fruit of the Spirit, there is nothing in them. The summons is the age, and the time in which I am. We know the time. There will be boasting. Is someone to Do you want to boast or proud? All of those. Those who boast, those who are proud of themselves. That is the beginning of whatever pains. There will be uh, scoffers and cursing each other. Do you know that people use money in order to curse others? If you look at the social media, you will see that the money is used in social media. Someone can get fifty dollars. I put eight on the phone, load it on the phone. Because I want to get enough time to. Abuse her to, to curse her. Then, after saying all kind of nonsense, post it on YouTube. He wants even the followers. People who follow him. And many people will comment nicely. What do you want? Yes, you did it. Yes, you did it. They should not oh, um, uh, despise you. you. Know, you know, that's why uh, in the Matthew, we saw that people will even backslide, back they will be afflicted. Because you was find someone, you say, hey, you did, it wasn't good. You didn't do it good. And, uh, and, and when you tell him to go with you somewhere, he will never accept. They will be disobedient to their parents. When we talk of parents, when the Bible talk of parents, many people think about only mother father. But you look at the first time of the time of Jesus when he was down here, people, the church was a parent to the people. Whoever came to the church for the parent would. But now, children don't listen to the parents. Christians and believers do no longer listen to the church. We don't listen to the leader. We want to be proud. And we are abusing the leaders. We cast the church. So it means those are the beginning of the labor pains. And thank for we don't thank God. We don't thank for what we are doing. So that is why 
Uh, it says that in whatever we face, we have to be thankful. I remember Job. He saw all the, the trials. He told his, his friends that how do I receive good things from God? And if you receive bad things from Him, come and I give you. Because I know my Savior. Because He knew what time He knew His time. So we gonna end with First Timothy. Uh, verse chapter four. Uh, verse one. It says, "Let us not lose heart." Before we read, think and I think. It's the How far is the night? Uh, it's the What did Jesus say that we have not seen yet? He prophesied. You must have heard them at least, about them at least. And remember during the time of Noah, they said that there is a rain coming, and they are like, this old man is crazy. This is how crazy And old men are never listening. They don't listen. And, but no one knew the time. No, he had heard the voice of God. He had listened carefully to the word of God. And in the actions, God has command. No one He did. He did not hide the word he was told. But today we hear the message. And the message has been said. And it will continue to be. Talked about tomorrow. How can I tell what time it is? He says there is a way coming. Please come and help me. Some people came and helped him. Some people came and helped him. And in the in the midst of the work, they were like, This is so crazy. We cannot do this. And they. Many people are like, it is now over. The Son of God will not come. He will not come unless we put him in the house. We, can, he, we cannot hide his, his, his word. He prepared his heaven for his people. So in 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1, He says, Now the Spirit speaks expressly that in the later times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to the seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. This is another sign too. The Bible doesn't hide anything. Everything is clear. If tomorrow I'm beaten by rain, and if it rains on you tomorrow, you never knew. So what we are asked to do is to be awake. Don't ask. Instead, we ask ourselves to say, Don't ask like the other one, hey, how far is the night? It is like being in a deep asleep when you are lazy. And then you call him, hey, get me, is it morning time now? And he says, don't ask me, just watch up in the sky. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't 
so we have to ask God to open our eyes to see spiritually so that we can see and the Holy Spirit lead us and teach us and the Holy Spirit teach us and explain to us we shall know how to count time and so we shall know it is morning and it is morning when we shall know it is morning time and then we shall get ready for the children so we walk towards the Zion we shall be having all the time I pray for you in Jesus name Amen Amen Let's Niwa ngwa ushaka gusengana nange if you want to pray with me kugira ngo iki gihe imana igishire ku mutima so that this God should put it in your heart so whatever you face whatever you face ubundi ikimba ko umunsi cyangwa iki kuba buri munsi so whatever happens to you the heart would beat and tell you is it this having a relationship with the level of pains if you are there, you can stand up and we pray. We shall pray. We thank you, God, and we thank you. We thank you, you are a good leader. You are a good leader. You are a good parent. You are a good parent who don't get annoyed. You say, you, you, you rebuke whoever you love. And you give good punishment to the one you love. You don't rebuke us that you hate us. It is because you want us to come back to the right way. May your word bring good roots down in our heart. May your Holy Spirit reign in our heart. So that the word can have roots in our heart. It can grow strong and strong, have good fruit in our heart. We must wait for the second coming of Jesus. All of us shall be together and give everybody. We pray in him.